All right, what is up, folks? It's Drew from Fastlane, back with another truck for you, and with a functional microphone this time, because I know some of y'all been bitching about that in the comment section. Um, as always, we're gonna delve in, you know, see whose truck this is, what's going on. Nothing super crazy today, but something nice. So, let's check her out. All right, folks, so what you're looking at here is a 2023 uh, Ford F-350 Super Duty. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little utility for, for Sterling uh, fired. Um, local department to us, but we love the guys there, love Ron and all of them. Um, so figure, hey, we're going to do a video of the truck. Um, tip to butt, it's how I love to do it. You see that we have this giant plow Voss DXT, DXT V-Blade hydraulic power down this thing is super nice very nice plow super jealous i used to push snow so i you know i like it um moving a little bit back obviously they have you know the led headlights in the uh you know the frame structure in the grill they have just a red white ions for when they don't have the plow and they can still respond uh here on the front fenders you have a service mount tli 2k ion um so this is red amber um, so you can introduce some amber for plow mode. Moving back, you have a Liberty 2 light bar up top, uh, red, amber, white in that bar. Moving back, we actually have two ions here on the bedside, one um, you know, right behind the cab and one next to the taillight. Again, red and amber. Um, Backflip tonneau cover. We don't do them super, you know, super frequently, but it just works really well for this truck because they don't really need a cap. Down here on the back bumper, we have TLI 2Ds. These are uh, red and white ions. Slide master bed slide with a tray. So you know you can put stuff and things on it. We all love we all love stuff and things. Uh, you know now that the 23 Super Duties are kind of out, we know we're picking up on small little features. Ford's added into them as well. One of the things I actually do really like is I actually have a tape measure here. You can kind of zoom in on it right here on the back of the bed, like the, the top plastic fascia, the tailgate. They have this like tape measure. We didn't do this, this factory Ford, but I do think it's kind of nice. So if you catch a real mo monster hog fish, you can kind of just measure it. Um, but that's really it for the exterior. Yeah, so what I'm telling y'all, we really don't have a whole lot going on with this truck. Uh, I definitely mean it. Um, all the lights are just hooked up to the OEM aux fitters, uh, aux upfitter switches um, here in the overhead. Again, this is all factory Ford. Um, you know, the first one cuts your headlights for the plow. Uh, they broke, we broke it down so you can flash red, introduce the white, introduce the amber. Uh, you can make the uh, the rear lights on the back bumper come on solid scene for when you're back, backing up, and you can kick on the scene function of the light bar. Obviously, they need to have a radio in this thing, and they elected to not have a center console, so we got a little bit creative. Um, you see the Motorola 05, actually 07 head here, um, built into the dash. Actually came out really good and made up some little brackets here. Uh, Oscar in the, in the CAD section hooked us up with that. Came out really good. Um, then you know you have your, your jack input for your PA mic so you can yell at people and do all the whatever fun stuff you'll be doing. Um, they usually keep this in the glove box, but that works out. And then magnet mic here as well so you know nothing crazy but a nice you know kind of elegant solution to not having a lot of work a lot to work with you have your standalone speaker down here and you have your controller um for the plow so not a lot Alrighty, and then underneath the back seat, we actually do have something going on finally. Um, one of our underseat electrical boxes, so this is normally in the Super Duty builds that we do. This box is typically set up for, you know, all your electrical components are here. Now, again, not a lot going on in this truck, so we still installed one of these, but it's just, you know, more storage. So you gotta have some deep, deep, hard storage that can, you know, uh, you know, fix gear to it or whatever they're gonna do. Nice catch-all little solution here.
But yeah, folks, thanks for sticking around and checking this uh, build out with me. Obviously, you know, definitely on the on the simpler end of the spectrum for us. Not a whole lot going on. So it was a pretty short video, but I like the plow. Love the guys who the truck's going for, so it was definitely worthwhile. Um, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, more cool fast lane content, and I will see you folks next time.